I am Cosmer Kaskasua, goalie for Laval Rocket in the American Hockey League, and we are uh, Montreal Canadiens affiliate team, and it is game day. It's Friday. We got back-to-back -back games against the Cleveland Monsters. They're here. 7 o'clock game tonight, early one tomorrow. Um, just coming back from an injury. I was out for only a week and a half, so... Luckily, it wasn't anything too bad. So back in the lineup tonight, I'll be backing up Doby starting, and then uh, maybe maybe I'm starting tomorrow. But just feels good to be back. Just had morning skate, and I know a lot of you guys have been asking about my gear, and I think I'm finally made the switch to True. I skated with them when I got them. They kind of weren't ready yet, and now now that I was injured, I was coming back. I was skating. I wanted to go back to the Trues and they actually feel great. They, how soft the materials are in the back, the soft calf wraps, all that, the wings and all that stuff. So it feels very mobile in the back. Uh, the materials help the rotation a lot. It's a very light pad. Um, I like the boot. I like how it, the, the angle of it, how it might come a little further out than the bower. Uh, a little boxier maybe than the bower. Yeah, that's something I really feel comfortable right now. Um, also switched to the, the True Blocker, which I feel like it kind of feels bigger than the Bauer one I have. I really tried to get into the 580 glove, even started the morning skate today with it, um, but had to switch back to my Bauer. I just like my Bauer too much. So I think that's where I'm gonna be at. I'm gonna bring those to the game tonight. And then I finally got out of my uh, yellow power chest protector and I'll be in the uh, CCM NHL spec uh, that thing is a tank but I finally got it to move a little bit I was throwing it in the steam room um, lacing it up trying to step on it everything break it down a little bit so little by little moving into some some new gear hopefully this gear will feel good in the game as well
Oh, thanks, baby. First of all, it was just fun to be back out there playing. I know I didn't miss too much in one week of games. It was happy to be back that soon and get obviously the W, that's the most most important part. And, and kind of sweeping the weekend series against the number one team in our division when it's really important points right now for us to try to from outside looking in, trying to get into the playoffs. Also the first game I've played in my brand new true pads and blocker. I still wasn't comfortable enough to go to the glove. So I'm sticking to my Bauer 2S glove with a thin pocket. Um, it's just the balance and how it feels, how it opens up, uh, what I like about that glove. But the pads were great. I felt comfortable in them. Uh, they slide great. I love how they rotate, how they uh, kind of play out more and feel like they take up space and they sit on my leg nicely. So. I kind of a no-brainer to play in those, and especially after getting pulled the first two games, I wore my new Bauer. So uh, they got a W right away, and they they just they feel great. And the blocker is good. I like how it presents out a little bit. Also, first game using the CCM NHL spec chest protector. So 
That worked out great. Hi, Fox. Hey, guys. Obviously, it's gonna be a lot uh, bulkier than my, my Bauer mock that I had for over a year, and uh, but it moves well. It, even though it's smaller, should be smaller in the NHL sizing, it feels bigger, it kind of sits nicely, it's big, it presents. I look huge in that thing and it, it moves well. So I've been happy how uh, I've been able to get that in games well. So lots of new gear, but was able to get that win anyways. Two goals against, first one was a pass out and uh, they were shooting it wide and hit the defenseman's gate and went in. So. That's just kind of a good reminder that uh, a lot of things in goaltending aren't actually in your control. And sometimes it's easier to go into the games like, oh, I'm, if I play great, I'm not gonna let in any goals. And uh, that is just a good reminder that no matter how you play, some goals are gonna happen, some bounces are gonna happen. You're just basically one player out of the players. And uh, one thing that I focus on and that really helps me is to focus on a couple different things, which is, getting set on the puck, being square to the puck, and then getting my eyes on it as well. So when I'm doing those things, and if you think about it, it's really simple. I'm just getting to my to my spot, being square, being in the right spot, and then seeing the puck. And that's, that's over half the battle. And a little advice for younger goalies and goalies at any level is to work on that crease movement. Because if you don't get set to the shot, you're in trouble, even if the puck moves again. So very important to, to work on your shuffles, little movements, always be in the right spot because guys will move a little bit or drag and shoot and that angle changes by this much and you have to make that adjustment to make that save. When I do that and focus on that, I'm able to execute my game and I feel like everything kind of feels easy when I'm doing the right reads and getting to the right spot. Usually if there's a goal against, um, I'm not executing on one of those three simple things. Second goal, kind of a funky one as well. Uh, the guy kind of buck, kind of from the hash marks on the on the boards and walked in, was trying to shoot hard and with a wrist shot, and the puck kind of bounced off its blade, was dropping like crazy. I, I don't know. I got the read that the puck was coming up at first so i'm trying to make a high glove save and then it just drops it was one of those where i'm trying to read the release i'm reading how he's shooting i'm seeing the puck go up at first so i'm like trying to make a save up here and then it just goes like this and goes down so sometimes those are the hardest ones when you're just trying to get as much information as you can from the release and when the puck is puck is leaving the leaving the blade and when it's all showing that it's going high and then mid trajectory kind of drops down it, it goes in but also in that moment it's good to realize that uh first game back from injury you want to play well two goals in the first period but i kind of had that mindset that you know i'm gonna let in two goals a game at least every game so uh for no now those two are out of the way and we're gonna focus on the rest of the game one shot at a time so uh, no reason to panic after after two goals like that. So uh, yeah, we're able to able to execute that and uh, get the big win. And I gotta give a shout out to Jared Davidson for making a huge block at the end uh, with the five or ten seconds left. So he really sacrificed the body, the uh, upper body injury from that. So I gotta give a shout out to Jared Davidson for sacrificing himself and making a huge block right at the end for me. But that's it. That went a little bit too long, but. Um, hopefully some teaching moments there and just kind of recapping of uh, what went on this this weekend and the important points for us so uh, we got a good team we can push it to the playoffs so subscribe so you don't miss the next video see ya